Which do you think will lead us home? Writing about this war or fighting it? In reality, Chernov's Dirt Journal would be like one of the most important possible historical documents. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like as historians, we're just cringing. It's like, could someone please save that book? That is a very important book to have. <laughs> please, I'm begging you, I need that book. It's written in terrible broken Russian, but it's so important. <laughs>
<laughs> fucking V, you would have just been killed by the overpressure from the main gun of this T-34. Like, what the fuck? And what is that turret traverse? I love how, like, like the computer doesn't model it as mouse inputs, right? But even so, the turret just, like, swings around. The, the T-3485 doesn't have a turret basket, so, like, everybody in that fucking tank just got KO'd. <laughs> like, the breach just smacked the tank commander in the face. Contact front. Which way are we going? Left or right? Let's go right. Let's go right. Let us... Let, let us... Right. Let us break convert. Whoa, holy fuck. All right. No escape, no prisoners. Also, one Ooh, really one really cool feature about these T-3485s is they look actually like post-war models because they've got a commander's cupola. The original T-3485 didn't have one. At least as far as I... Hey, look! It's the 507th Heavy Tanzer Battalion. Uh, throw that grenade back. Uh, thank you. So just in case you're wondering, the 507th actually did have a large contingent of King Tigers. And so they're here right now. They're just murdering our T-34s as expected, but hey. Well, you know. I said I wasn't going to do like a historical breakdown on the fly, but I just can't fucking help it. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> so this is like, this is, this in a way is like a teaser trailer for what is to come. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, Sondercraft Soik 251 half track. That's cool. Yep, yep. And G43s. Out, like, I don't think, like... The prevalence of G43s is, like, completely not historically accurate. They, they should even have Volksturmgewehrs here. Which I know Whoa. is now... I'm gonna ditch the FG42, actually, because... I just saw Chernov get that guy in the face. Dude, that dude's leg is fucked. Yeah! Back up, grenade! Yo! 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 Yes! What'd you get? Machine Gewehr 42 with nice. drums. Also, get ready for war crime number two. <laughs> Yeet. Technically, it's war crime number three at least. I mean, maybe four. Actually, as as one of my commenters recently pointed out in the uh, reaction I did to that god awful Bougainville mission, um, incendiary weapons aren't outlawed yet. So, like, technically. Oh, nice. I'm coming in. I'm down. Need a rescue. Yeah. It's all good. I just got to get away from this grenade. Hold on. Oh, you can't crawl right. This is an old gate. Fuck. Got him. Okay. Let me talk around. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I got you. Holy shit, you just cut that guy's legs off. Yep. Grenade. Fucking... The amount of grenades in this fucking single player mode is actually stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> there's there's no way the Germans had this many grenades at this point, right? No, 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 no. They, they, have, they definitely had enough grenades. I mean, apparently, according to this game, they still have Ooh. enough paint for, like, the uh, shields on the side of the helmet. So I guess they're doing a lot better in this timeline. <laughs> By the way, I'm throwing a frag in there, Ruby. Just Oh, shit. That's another grenade. Get out of the way. There you go. It was, <laughs> not it was, a, oh, it, true, it was not still, a war crime. Yeah, he was still moving. Oh, that's a King Tiger. That, that, that is, that is a war crime. For being unfair. I'm going to grab one. All right. I'm going to get it. Side shot. What boom. You missed. That's what you, that's what you get for trusting an anarchist, ladies and gentlemen. Discipline zero. <laughs> enthusiasm hundred. Like, but like... <laughs> yeah, one hundred and ten <laughs> enthusiasm, zero accuracy. Actually, I'm gonna check your uniform right quick, and I'm not gonna. Hello. Stand I'm fucking. I'm not gonna stand, on, your back. stand back here. Okay, let's stand here. Because <laughs> I'm gonna look at your uniform right quick. So, as you can see, difference from freaking like Vanguard. You can see that he's got the correct belt buckle. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of his muzzle, but uh, you can also <laughs> see he's got the entrenching tool, the canvas. All of it's canvas. He's got the he's got like the only piece of webbing that's really leather is his is his actual rig. Everything else is like canvas. Right? And you can see he's got red piping around his shoulder boards as a shock soldier or a guard trooper. You've also got the older helmet on with the red star. Look at you being all retro. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you're out here with no helmet. I don't need a helmet. I'm a baller. <laughs> Click clack, motherfuckers. Hey. <laughs> <You can laughs> totally see. worth it. Totally worth it to use at close range. 
You fucking numpty. Oh, 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 Todd. Okay, hey, that, that, nice. that, that puckered up my butthole just a little bit. I just saw that turret just swing straight at me. Ah, shit, 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 shit. My friend, it might be too late for me. Nah, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. Quit your bitching. I have a morphine surrette, which the Russians really didn't have any of, or at least much. They imported a lot from the Allies, but I don't know actually how much they had. Actually, no, what am I doing? There's still tanks to blow up, Pac-Man. Grab your fucking rocket launcher. Panzer Schreck. Fun fact! Got it. Fun fact, Panzer Schreck means tank terror. <laughs> tank terror. I love that name. I'm gonna burn their wheat field. Because I can. There's another one. <laughs> oh, I'm out of Molotovs! This is a shameful display. Was it right, right here? Here. Oh, I'm blind. I mean, I am literally blind, but that's that's okay. That, that's fine. This guy doesn't have a leg. You're doing better than him, at least. No, that's because I shot my Panzer Shrek through the window <laughs> at him. Ah, uh, yes, the famous airburst Panzer Shrek. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. So, as experienced what it will play, as we know where the tank is, right? It's through the fucking barn doors. Okay, I've got my Panzer Shrek at the ready. Are you at the ready? Yeah, I, I'm ready. Look, Chernoff's got an actual Soviet fuel pack. Open the door. Fuck oh, you. God. oh god, oh god, oh god. Turret traverse, scary. Frag out. I've cleared the Germans on the tank. No, I'm, I'm, can I revive you through this fence? No, I can't, fuck. Lame. <laughs> Historically, more realistic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I can't... You just put a fucking cap in Reznov. Just <laughs> like... <laughs> no, I missed. I almost put a cap in Reznov. Is <laughs> what you mean? You meant to say. Just kicks open. All right, now, cool little historical detail here. If you can see on this T-34, it has meshing around the turret. That is actually an anti-Panzerfaust measure. It was attempted to create a form of a RPG netting to prevent Panzerfaust. Did it work? No. But it was a noble attempt, nonetheless. I love how they also have like T-34 crocodile variants here. More IL-2s with like the lowest res models I've ever seen. But they're doing better than like Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty Vanguard where they have like Focke-Wulf Condors. You know, maritime patrol aircraft being strategic bombers because Call of Duty people look at look at freaking four-engine bomber and they go, Ah, German four-engine plane. That must be a heavy strategic bomber. No. Je Luftwaffe General Weber or Weber died, and then that just basically killed the strategic bombing project. So that. Oh no. shit! Fucking get ready for some spam. Sorry, Reznov. Thank you. Another rocket. Oh shit! Just Reznov saw. Oh. Oh, that Yeet. Thank you. Machine gun. Oh, buddy! Fucking shoulder firing an MG42 because I literally have the pectoral and shoulder muscles of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ow! And there's a concussion. There's another one. Justified war crimes. Thanks, Reznov, for justifying my war crimes. I think I had fucking Wolf at P38 and just tried to whack fucking churn off with it. Tiger Tamer. The T34 is named Tiger Tamer. <laughs> Look at that. Oh! Slava Sovietsky Soyuz, boys! April 16th, 1945. Salo Heights, Germany. Third Shock Army. I have no idea why Dimitri and Reznov... We get individual tanks? Yeah, we do. T-34s. <laughs> Your tank is 29th Ulovskaya Tank Corps.
War crimes, crocodile model. <laughs> it's all these war crimes. Oh shit, that's right next to me. Fuck. What happened to you? A tank flanked me and then very poorly renderedly disappeared when I shot at it. <laughs> Panzer 4, 12 o'clock long. Engaging. Yep. I'm taking the. Uh, I've got a Panther at one o'clock long next to the tower. Engaging priority one. I'm going for the. Hey uh... Stamovix, I know you've got PTAP bombs. Could you like do something about these tanks <laughs> instead of just flying over dramatically to the sunset? <laughs> do you know what the PTAP is? There we go. Maybe? Oh, hold on. Splatterings. No, I don't actually. Please explain. Okay, so please explain. Like... I'm a social historian, not a military historian. So the PTAP is like. The Russians, like, did what everyone else did and were like, Oh fuck, I just ran that guy over. Um... Oof. The, Ru the um, Russians did what everyone else did initially and tried to drop, like, 500 pound bombs on enemy tanks and trying to kill them with, like, cannons and shit. Wasn't working for them. They then had a thought, hang on a minute. The top armor of a tank is really weak. What if... We fill yeah. the We fill the bomb bays of our Stamovics. Ow with lots of really high explosive armor piercing miniature bombs like 50 like 10 pound bombs that are like armor piercing high explosive right right and just fly over a german convoy and just drop a million of the fucking things and so essentially the russians accidentally invented cluster bombs contact panther front yep. close i got it kill him got it whoa nice blew the fucking turret off yeah Very boys nice. onwards the fact that every third round isn't a fucking dud is a bit, you know, unrealistic for the LT-34, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, uh, that's a uh, King Tiger. Oh yeah, shit, that, he's fucking that taking the That is a King hits. Tiger, yep. Goodbye. Shrek Oh left. fuck, I just got fucking hit. Get up here, you bitch. All right. Tank's gone. Oh, another tank coming in. Toasty. He's gone. I'm gonna start slinging HE into that t into that trench line in front of us. Yep. See if you can get some coax on those guys as well. Oh, we got a panther on me. Panther on me. Yep, I'm coming around. You see. Yep. Nice work. You see, the T34 is normally a happy tank because it can't do gun depression like at all. But this one can for some reason. Like I don't think the gun historically should be able to get that low. But you know. I ain't complaining. Helped me kill that panther, so... A historical gun depression? Always good. Wait a second, who... Somebody... No, it's just another tank. Oh, ow, fuck! You just got shrecked. I can blew that guy. Alright. Now, technically it is a war crime to use anti-material weapon systems on personnel. My which justification, they've been doing quite which, a lot of. <laughs> my justification is they are wearing clothes, and clothes are made of material. So <laughs> <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, I love how they all like all of these like standard T thirty fours have the same um, division designation, like number designation as well. So they're all the twenty fifth tank of their particular unit. I'm not sure why. Um, oh shit, me timbers. That's a lot of tanks. Uh, Achtung Panzer? Oh, goodbye, Tank 1. Oh, Panzer Strike. Oh, you just got fucking nailed. Flammenwerfer. Nice work. Oh, I'm about to get fucking trashed. <laughs> Amazing. Toasting Nazis like it's cool. Whoa! Fuck you. Goodbye, Tower. You know, the funny thing is, some people say that this is excessive, but this actually is, well, besides the arcadiness of the tank combat, like, the actual density of, like, rocket, like, Panzer Shreks and Panzer Faust is 100% accurate. That's why we have these freaking mesh systems on our tanks, because the Russians got so used to getting whacked by Panzer Faust, they were like, well, shit. The thing is, at this point in time, historical context-wise, 
the reason why we're going so ham right now is that Marshal Zhukov... Hey, look! This, the Stamovics are doing shit! I love that the tank models are actually, you know, correct. There was actually... Nice work. That was very nice simultaneous kill. <laughs> the funny thing is, there's a, there's a King Tiger there that needs to go. The 507th Heavy Tank Battalion, SS Heavy pa Tank Battalion. Is he down? Yeah. Like, I think so, yeah. Got another one over there, I think. Yeah, I see him. I missed. Hit. Yeah, he's gone. Is he gone? Yeah, yep. nice. Alright, uh, moving forwards. Uh, or is it... there still... You know you have to deep fry schnitzels, right? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motherfucker's deep frying? Uh, uh, I don't have. I don't think I have access to the deep fry mic. Oh go. mine! I have machine gun instead. Goodbye tower. Actually, you know what? Let's do this the old-fashioned way. No, I can't run him over. Lame. Post him. Now. Hurra! A little bit early, but I'll give it to you. All this surface, all this service, and Dimitri never gets promoted. What I love about that is that they give the speech. I'm going to grab a PPSH right quick. They give the speech oh, about. you son of a fuck. <laughs> they're giving a speech about launching an attack on the Fuhrer's birthday. Hitler's birthday is April 20th. So we're actually three days late, but oh, well. you know, I'll give it. Just look at their uniforms. They're accurate. They've paid attention. The tanks are awesome. These tanks have got American machine guns on top of them, though. So there's a there's a point against them. Can I actually use the machine gun on them? Can I? Yeah, they've got they've got American thirty cows on top of those tanks, and you can't use them. And you can't use them. That's a bit bullshit. I just fucking killed the machine gun with a pistol. Nice. Okay. Damn, feels oh, good to be a gangster. One thing I will say, and this is the big difference I have to draw between Call of Duty: World at War and Call of Duty: Vanguard, is that while I, like this just absolutely nails the atmosphere like even after all these years and the graphics are so dated the atmosphere the music the like the the faded color palette the brutality the gore the devastation like and i'm not finding i'm not finding stgs with drum mags and a, and a scope Oops, better add one to the war crime counter. Oh, did, did you... What did you do? <laughs> I may have grenaded somebody's core. <laughs> ah, there we go. Put one up on the scoreboard. <laughs> I mean, the T-34s are like direct he -ing. I mean, the only thing we need now is white phosphorus. Give it that'd, time. That'd be fun. Alright, pushing in. Pushing in. Roger, right behind you. What the... I am stuck. There we go. Freedom. <laughs> okay, so here's a little known detail that not many people pick up. Have you noticed that this German soldier here is a little bit shorter than the others? Is it because we blew off his legs? No. They actually model the German character models in this mission and the Berlin missions. Some of them are slightly shorter. They're simulating the Hitler Youth. Oh, wow. And obviously they couldn't put in, like, you know, actual children. Yeah, but... So they're trying to at least, you know, hint at it. Yeah, and and if you look over to our right here, you can see... You can see German prisoners of war. Yep. No! <laughs> I'm gonna add that one to the war crime counter. <laughs> <laughs> tank through the wall and again another great detail the tank crew turned its turret back to prevent damage to the gun barrel oh fuck goodbye eardrums yeah you just got blown the fuck up fuck kill that guy ow oh. fuck you panda shrek 
I'll get you. I'm in cover, so it's not And worry. war crimes! Ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding! Hey, buddy. You had, to, you had to be all the way down here, didn't you? I was helping our comrades. I was getting the There's high ground. Advertising. I was pulling the Obi-Wan. I'm going back up there. All right, stand by. Okay. Where's the, uh... Gonna breach the building right quick. Fuck! Fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> Immediately got shrieked again! Love that for me. It's okay. I've got Reznov here to protect me. Not pick me up, though. And blocking my shots. Thanks, Reznov. Yeah, I got... Uh... I'm gonna go pick up the STG. I have the machine gun, but I don't want the machine gun. I want the S STG. Where's my STG? I want a good, wholesome, emotional support STG. Sniper down. There it is. Emotional support STG 44. And look at that game. Look at that, everybody. No stupid optic, no drum mag. It is a stock. Select fire STG. 44 <gasps> with sight and does it model the intermediate cartridge thing the slightly reduced recoil does it we'll find out in just a second before my so my head grows back one second all right there it Once is I re resume having a scalp look at that the single shot acts like a rap oh none of this hyper rapid fire bullshit it's just pure Historically authentic goodness. And I'm out of ammo. Fuck! Hey, look at that. A commissar leading from the front. I guess I guess pigs can fly after all. Last mag! But it's a PPS edge mag, so I've got 70 rounds. <laughs> uh, I need more STG ammo. I need I got... more Gewehr. <laughs> Hang on. Game, give me Gewehr ammo for the fucking love of God. I want more ST I want more PPSH ammo. PPSH is my favorite weapon in this game. Simply engage in some innocent team killing. <laughs> no, I'm going to let some brave comrades give their life for the motherland and then I'm gonna just uh, pick it up. Ah, so the alternate version of it. <gasps> Shotgun with grip. Yes. Oh, there's PPSH. Glorious. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, that wasn't the smartest move, if you're gonna be honest with you, Chief. Yeah! Fuck you! Fuck you! War crime! <laughs> Get war crime done. Uh, yep. And... Yeet! Do -do. I'm coming! Do -do. Do -do. Gotcha. Do -do. Gotcha. Oh my god! Grenade. Oh, what, grenade! Literally had the same exact same response. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that! No you didn't! You didn't see shit! Oh, I Are you shitting me? <laughs> you are just a uh, magnet for those Shreks, aren't you today? Dude, it's like every- oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Uh. I would be the most blown-up soldier in the history of the Red Army. Uh, look, um, the Siege of Leningrad was a thing, I doubt that. PPSH, with control bursts, is more accurate and more deadly than the STG. Because Call of Duty. But, you know... Every Pushing single across. one of these bullets... Every single one of these 7.62 Tokarevs... Is infused with a tip of pure Stalinium. Oh. Look! I have Stalinian bullets. We will achieve Thank victory. You. Grenade. Oh god. Channel just runs into the grenade. You're not supposed to die yet. Holy fuck! Spo spoiler alert for 2009. <laughs> Chernov just shot the ground. It offended him. Oh god. Oh, oh god. god! oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Another thing about Call of like, I've noticed that in Vanguard, even on the like higher difficulties, like, oh shit, grenade! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking muppet! You walk straight into it. 
Oh, Holy sorry, I just got the commissar in the leg. Now I'm going to go to the gulag. You know, you're actually probably saved several of our comrades' lives by doing that. So you know, I can't, I can't exactly blame you. Get up. You, you happen to walk onto a grenade in the middle of the. F <laughs> you just, you're getting me killed. You are literally getting me killed. Nice hat. I'm going in here. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide in this building until it's all over. You can go. You guys can take the Reichstag without me. You don't need me. Like fuck this. Like. Oh, I'm down. What happened to you? I got shot. This also comes off that way. Not quite to the same extreme degree, but. Get your phone it. away from your fucking mic. What? <laughs> Did you just <laughs> yeet it across the room? <laughs> 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 Fucking <it>, hell! <laughs> you just yeeted your phone. Oh fuck! <laughs> just... <laughs> Holy shit! Friend, quick! Ah, oh, this is a this is going on the wall. Oh, ho! There we. <laughs> <laughs> we have got one war crime, and then we have another one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Compounding war crime. <laughs> <laughs> they beat war me before I could sweat. Move quietly, take them by surprise. I've got my Molotovs ready, you ready? Yeah, I got my Molotov ready. I really hope this doesn't explode Yeet. in my hand. Yeet! Yeet! Oh, that hurt. Wow, we just fucking went through them like shit through a goose, Jesus. The power of committing war crimes to get your way. Peek around the corner. Yep. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, throw a Molotov cocktail on water, see how that goes. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm just making oh, sure- Oh, oh, more war crimes! Fuck you! Ow! <laughs> the hell got you? A fucking stray bullet went through the hole in the wall! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess that's what we're doing now. Fuck. I love how, like, in this game, like, one bullet immediately knocks you down to, like, minimal health. Fucking hell! They're like, hard and difficulty, what should we do? One HP. Like, one HP the whole time. And then the only difference between this and Veteran is that there's more grenades. Ooh, oh, fuck, watch out for the strike. That I... puckered up oh, the- Oh, ow, 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 That puckered up the butthole. <laughs> Blew himself up! <laughs> Oh shit! No, 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 <laughs> I need new underwear. Holy shit. Okay, no, one, because, one interesting thing. Because I right? had my tongue cut out in Stalingrad. Okay, so, like, I want to show you something interesting historically, right? Historically, okay? Okay, if you look at Chownob, or if he's not just getting instantly fucking murdered, if you look at my Mosin again, it's got the curved bolt of, like, a sniper Mosin. But if you go to Chernov here, He's got the actual, if you stop running around, he's got a Mosin, and he's got a straight bolt. All the Mosins in frickin' in Vanguard have a have a sniper bolt. The reason why, I, I think the reason why is because, like, they, they created a model for the player Mosin, for the straighter pull bolt, and then for the historically accurate Mosin for the common foot soldier, you have one with a straight bolt. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, like, 
it's cheating basically they're saving budget on models on because because the model changes from the from the 3d world object to the player object right but i think it's just cool that they've just done their diligence like it's ow. i'm learning a full clip even though i had one round in there but hey 2000 and what eight <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, collateral! Bye. Can you get another one? No. No more. Sm I have no more Molotov cocktails. I am so disappointed. We'll get some more. Don't you worry. Ow. I okay. Like I get the fact that they want to include Katusha's, but why is that Katusha so close to the front line? He should be like mm. twelve blocks that way. Hang on. Splatter. It that being said, the Katusha is accurately modeled. The uh, the rail system is correct, and it is a Studebaker truck. So yeah, okay, I dig it. I dig it. I like it. It's very cool. <laughs> I oh, holy shit! Are they using that Katusha as a direct impact weapon? Holy fuck, you savages! That is wild. That is actually insane. Can we just appreciate the ambience of this mission, though? Like, the rain, the lightning, the traces. I, I have to admit, it's this, this mission always cracks me up because, like, the soundtrack in it is so fucking funny because it's this, like, sort of heavy, sort of, like, metal-ish, like, industrial-sounding ditty. But, man, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, you hear me, like, rappling off, like, fucking historical facts and then you've got the freaking muso here. Yeah... <laughs> More or less. Grenade! He has Whee! much better hair than me, though, so there is that. I don't have any hair at all, though, so that's... Ah, fuck! Don't worry, this thin wooden bookcase will protect me. I am fine. Don't, don't worry, I only have my head marginally above the sandbags. No one can shoot me. Oh, I had the... Oh, MG's on the third floor. I got him sighted. Can you even take these MGs out? Oh god, grenade. Ow, rip. Fuck you, grenade. I I was at least smart enough to hide behind the moderately sized bookcase. Throw it back. You were dumb. You hid behind the ceramic bathtub. Stupid idiot. <laughs> you stupid fool. You stupid fool. Did you know wood is stronger than ceramic? Ow! 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 Oh, that's right, because the building collapses. Oh, yo! Oh, that's right. I'm I'm just like lying on the ground. <laughs> Dude, it's Ow. still cool. That's yeah, that's really cool. Oh, hello, buddy. I don't have any of these. Okay, I'm just gonna hit you with my knife instead. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Oh. Frag out. Uh, gotta say, Vivi boys. There he is. Thank you. Damn, it's lucky that the Soviet Red Army has so much morphine. <laughs> oh shit. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck it. Rip. Fuck you. Uh, I'm holding them front if you want to push. Yep, yep, nice. I'm gonna get this ammo, 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 press, press, and Coming around behind you. There's a grenade there. Oh, fuck! Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there sure is a grenade there. <laughs> There's a fucking grenade. <laughs> you said that literally a second too late. I literally stepped out and it just went boom in my face. <laughs> I think this mission is the most outrageous that you survive in this one. Oh, how many of you? Uh, I got flanked. Your head is underwater. It. You are drowning. Yeah. I am drowning. They survived this. <laughs> We're doing CTR Pro on strats. a man with his face under the water. You see that? You see that, chat? You see that? Fucking bounding the grenade off the roof. 100 IQ plays! Yeah! Oh god. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Reznov. Right get get right the door away. open, Reznov. Get the door open, Reznov. <laughs> Rip. They survived this is more appropriate here. <laughs>
Dimitri is not here. Visit Triarch.com to go behind the scenes with the developers from World of War. <laughs> I don't think that's there anymore. <laughs> Man, that's a, that's a seven. Like, I might go... You will be okay. Do you hear me? They flooded their own metro in an effort to kill us, Dimitri. <laughs> but still, we do not die. <laughs> You know, fun fact, like, again. Oh, look up. Katyusha. No, look up. Ah, <laughs> oh, they go. Ah, oh, there they are. Wait, we can shoot them down? Can we? Oh, we can too. Huh. That's neat. Does it actually have. Does it actually have. Wow. Oh, <laughs> shit. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so we've captured German. We've captured German, like, pack 43s, Artillery? and we're shelling the Reichstag with it. Also, this this sort of thing is actually based on a real thing. So the 507th Schwerpanzerabteilung, like, had their tanks left over throughout the city. The Zhukov has a really good picture with one of their Tigers. One of their Tigers was abandoned by the Brandenburg Gate. Very famous photo. I'll put it up in post, ladies and gentlemen. But again, A, who's reloading the rockets? And B, why is this Katusha so far forward? You're using it as a direct fire weapon on the right. Why? I don't... Also, this whole district looks wrong. There should be like the Tiergarten in front of us, but hey, who cares? There's a Let's deployable get... FG here for you. If you oh, wanna. is it? Is it? Yeah. Right here. Actually, no. I've got an SVT 40 and a PPSH 41. Full Slava Boo. Let's go. Let's go. Ow! Dude, this soundtrack, like, this whole game soundtrack, including the, like, zombies one, fucking phenomenal. The use of the uh, detuned eight string guitars, really cool. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wall, wall, wall. Get me hardcover, hardcover. Plus, if you push up, the AI pushes up with you, so. Yeah. Which makes it 90% more intelligent than AI in 90% of military shooters. Yeah. It also, it also allows you to cheese the game, which I'm doing right now, which is like, oh, fuck. Which is, you like, you f you pick a bit of cover in front of you at like 11 o'clock and then you just sprint towards it. And then the AI just take all the bullets and just take the position for you. <laughs> Frag out. Nice. Pushing up. Oh shit, fuck. Nice work. Any goodies in here? Grenade. Shit. <laughs> oh shit, fuck! <laughs> oh, that was good. Was that your own grenade too? No, no, I literally threw a grenade and then one just like fucking smacked at my feet and just went boom. Mine worked. Well, I'm saying you just missed a grenade thrower. Well, yes. Ow! Incredible. You almost got me killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so like... Wait, hold on. I'm gonna do pro strats here and jump on your head so I can shoot over the that, wall. That's, that's gotta be like a developer or something, because you've got a Luftwaffe officer with... Uh, that beard? <laughs> yeah, not only that, his rank... his rank slide, right? <laughs> like, I don't think... this man is not a high enough rank to get a fucking portrait. I'm sorry, that is a... That is a Leutnant. That is... that is... That is where are like, we going? He, oh, through the window. He is not big enough to get himself a portrait like that unless he'd done something really fucking cool. He better have the Knight's Cross, and I didn't see him wearing the Knight's Cross. He was wearing a tie. Oh, it's time to blow up some fu- oh, I hate this fucking bit. Nah, it's the oh. coolest- Order! There are way the too many Wrecked King Tigers out here. Like, there are- <laughs> like, there were Wrecked <laughs> King Tigers throughout Berlin, but the, but the 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion had like 16 to 20 of them. Like, we've run into, what, like, 30 or 40 throughout our at trip through least. Berlin? Right at now? least. <laughs> you dead? Nope. Throw that one back. Ow, 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 ow. That was a ballsy move. That was a ballsy Bob. move, Ibi. <laughs> uh, get the oh, T-34. Ooh, that T-34 just ate shit. Oh, my lord. I love how the T-34s are, like, pushing straight into an area guarded by, like, Oh, God! 
want to get back up. I want to see Babushka again. Alright. <laughs> I live to see Babushka one more time. And I died again. What? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. Alright. Not what I wanted to do. I don't want to drop my PPSH. PPSH, but... Let's take these bad boys out. <laughs> that was pretty baller. This area... Okay, so can we just admire... Like, I know what this place is for, but like... The way this place is modeled, super weird. Yeah, like, the thing is, like, check that grenade. The thing is, the area in front of the Reichstag is actually put on the, is actually off the, because uh, for those of you watching my little historical comment here, the Reichstag map in War Thunder, for people who have context for that. Oh, oh God, run got away. It. It's okay, I got it. Is a more accurate representation, because you have the tier garden. And the road to the Brandenburg Gate, and the massive like head splattered, and the massive column which they Pushing. use to separate the the Friedrichstrasse and the Unter den Linden. I think it is. Um, like that, planted. Basically, if you've ever seen Man in the High Castle, that massive like pylon they drive around when they visit Berlin. Uh, okay, you're you're wounded. You're gonna get blown up anyway, but I'm just gonna burn you. Cause I can. There you go. Whack. I'm gonna go looking for the sniper rifle. I'm gonna die. I'm not dead. How? Don't Kira. go in that room. Oh. I'm committing a war crime. Yeah. I'm gonna swap out my pants if uh, my. Ow! What killed you? A grenade. A peel? Yeah, it landed under the platform. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna die? Maybe. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I like your helmet. Yeah, me. But I like having one. I'm pushing up. Am I getting. Oh, I'm not. Ow. Are they playing Prussian Glory over the loudspeakers? That's kind of funny. Uh, Darkness, my old friend. Mm. Uh, you motherfuckers! Could you just ease off with the rocket for just a second here? <laughs> I don't have smoke. I gotta get Ibby. It's the oh final God. breakdown. Ho of Holy shit! Where am I getting shot from? All right, hold on. They're pushing back, quick! Now's your chance. I'll shoot at the panther. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! We're all the way back here. Oh. Just, just consistently throwing. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I got no. crushed by the pylon! <laughs> you got crushed by the fucking pylon! Oh, hello. Oh, this guy has a cool uniform. I just fucking air burst with that frag. Mother... Fuck. It's okay, he's down. Not that one, though. Yep, yeah, hold on. Oh no, Chernov! I'm sorry, comrade. Wait, did we already knock the post down? Did the post... Grab the flag, charge! Alright, so cool thing about this guy. You see the uniform on this dude? Right here? <laughs> Chernov's not dead! He's dead. Oh god. Trying to put Is that a the war crime? No, no, it's putting him out of his misery. April 30th, 1945. When he first spoke of Dmitri, Reznov told tales of a hero. Someone we should all aspire to be like. At times, I have seen him show mercy, but at others act with complete brutality. Fuck you, don't lie about me, I've never shown mercy! <laughs> <laughs> 
Need not question their actions. I sure is shit done. They're Nazis. <laughs> We've been pretty clear on our no tolerance stance. PPSH 41. Drum. Click clack. I love how we've got like, we've had time to get speakers and lights set up, like, you know. Or maybe the Germans set those up, I don't know. Oh god, I'm in a fucking... <laughs> Just so you jump right back, like, fucking bunny. <laughs> I will b-hop my way to freedom. So if you look at what's really interesting about these guys' is uniforms. Oh god. These, these guys are wearing SS uniforms. Uh, and what these guys are, is they're the ceremonial guard who... Guarded government buildings in the Reich's in the Reich's government Ow. district, which I'm gonna have to go rescue Ibby. History lesson over. We will return to the previously scheduled history lesson. <laughs> in just a run, moment. Pac-Man, run! Gonna get Ibby. Where is he? Hey, don't shoot me! <laughs> <laughs> Last time I revived you, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, return to your history lesson. Oh, can't head missing. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna get out of this corner right quick. Um, yep. So basically, the guys we're fighting right now are dressed in SS ceremonial uniforms used to guard government districts. What's really interesting about them is the fact that the men we're fighting, I didn't see a good look at their SS wrist, uh, like cuff band. It looked like it didn't have anything written on it. But these guys, if they're guarding the Reichstag, would almost certainly be members of the Leibstand Data Adolf Hitler. Oi, come here for a sec. Yeah, Here's yeah. a nice little detail over here. Where are we nice at? little over here. Look at this guy. Look at his face. Got an eye patch. He has got an eye patch. So let's see if I can. Can I see your cuff patch? This is not where I'm supposed to go. It looks like it is. Yeah, it looks like it. But what's really cool is you can see his uniform. Not sure why you've got like a party badge on his tie. Got a weird hat, like mismatched uniform. But like, look, it's probably wrong. They probably wouldn't be wearing their ceremonial dress at this stage, given, well, you know, the circumstances. But I like the fact that they've, it, it's not historically accurate, but it's historically authentic. It right. sets, it's a historically accurate uniform that sets them apart from the standard German infantrymen. And it also, they're also defending a place where that unit would almost certainly be defending during the siege of Berlin. The majority of the majority of We've the Latin guys up Hitler here with were, special hats were in ba in were posted to Lake Balaton at the time, I believe. But they, but eventually, like near the end of the war, but they did partake in the defense of Berlin. At least I, d I do know that they did. So you've if you got come up these... here. There's guys with the hats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a look. Over here? This yep. guy right here. We got an officer. Yep, we got an officer. A previously injured officer from the looks of it. Yeah, his hat's wrong though. Is it? He's got a Wehrmacht hat. He should have uh, a death he should have a death's head skull. Where no, you've got the Totten uh, Cop for zero out of ten. No Totten Cop for zero out of ten, yep. He should have a death head skull on his hat. The badges on our caps. H have you looked at them? What? No. A bit? <laughs> They've got skulls on them. Hmm? Have you noticed that our caps have actually got little pictures of skulls on them? I, I don't, so... Hans. Are we the baddies? But again, as I said, it's, it's not like in Vanguard where you've got uniforms that don't exist at all, that haven't existed yet, right? It's the fact that they're using the SS Leibstand Data ceremonial guard to guard the to Reichstag as like the elite troops that you have to fight, right? It makes sense that that they would. In fact, there was a French SS unit that was defending this building, actually, if I recall correctly. In the right, comments, go check vibe check me in the comments below if I'm talking shit. But I'm pretty sure a French SS unit was guarding this building. Yeah, I got a PTRS over here somewhere, I think. Yep, here it is. PTRS 41. Look at this beautiful 20 millimeter slinging machine. Oh, I'm going for the Panzer Shrek. Kill that dude. When in doubt. Okay, rule one for snipers: kill the MGs. It's your job. <laughs> oh, nice! I saw that. 
Collateral! Alright. Where'd that guy shoot you from? A guy just shot a panda truck at you and I can't see where he is. Yeah, oh, I see him. He's gone. But as you can see, like looking at the at the German at the German uniform, they've got like their helmet emblems and shit. Oh, look, he's bleeding out. Am I gonna put him out of his misery? No. Um I'm gonna hit you while you're down there. Oh. There should be a flamethrower coming. I'm gonna hit it. Yep, hit him. They're pulling back. We need to cover our comrades as they get through. No leg for you. Right. So I love that little These detail. They've got the SS shield on the side of their helmets instead of the national symbol, which is correct. They've also got the shield badge on the other side. Like, they've also got armbands. Again, probably not. But as they are, they're, uh, they're in ceremonial guard uniform, so they would have the armband if they're in the ceremonial guard. Okay, you okay. Mon oh, okay, you mono bollocked moron. This one's for you. A fuck you, Nazi pieces of shit. Run! <laughs> run! Run, boy, run. Die tired. Alright, gents, just for tradition's sake. <laughs> no, it's a single player game, but you gotta do what you gotta do, fellas. Come on, boys, let's go, let's go, let's get them. Chase nice him down. Very clean. Grenade. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the price of one. Anybody? Yeah, yeah. Big rip. KFC ten dollar tender box deal. Oh, I missed that. All right. Let's see. Once everything starts shaking, I'll start lighting it up. Okay. Okay, one, two. He's down for the moment. See if you can get that fucking uh, that fucking panzer strike. Where is he? Or did you get him? Oh, fuck. Top floor. Oh, I see him, yeah. Hold on. Uh Oh, fucking out. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep the pressure on. Let's keep the pressure on. Oh, God. I'm dead. Oh. Okay. Forward, comrades. For glory. Oh, hello. You're not dead. Oh, pfft. Almost got killed by it myself. Yeah. Wait. We need the flag. Oh, they dropped the flag. I got it. Damn. <laughs> my video. My rules. Yeah, I know. I know the rules. I know how it'd be. Regrouping with squad. Goodbye. I just feel the glory <laughs> of the Soviet Union in my veins. <laughs> Kick it, Red Army Choir. Let's go. Down it goes. Hurra! <laughs> <laughs> Slava Sovietsky Soyuz, comrades! Victory is ours! Is this the point where we talk about the uh, doctored photo? Yeah. Of the planting of the flag? Yeah. They, re they restaged it. Like, the original flag raising was done. And, like, they had to restage it. And <laughs> they had to airbrush the wrist of the soldier. 
who planted the flag because he had so many stolen watches on his <laughs> Uh, that's that's the war crime counter we're going to end on. Zero out of ten, we couldn't steal their watches. Yeah.